Hello everyone, this is Commando Brooks and today I have some very exciting LEGO Star Wars news. Obviously, we've already seen some of the leaked images for the LEGO Star Wars Bad Batch shuttle, but today LEGO officially revealed the LEGO Star Wars The Bad Batch Attack Shuttle as its official name. It's in this set looks really good. I know there have been some mixed opinions on this one. I address I will address those later in the video, so stay tuned. But there will be spoilers for episode one of the Bad Batch, so go watch that on Disney Plus if you have not already, and then you can come back here and watch this video. So yeah, this set is going to be sand blue, which is a major controversy. I don't hate it that much. It's it's not as boring as the regular gray stuff we get in Star Wars. And it almost pays homage to some of the older Lego Star Wars sets at the beginning of the theme where they were more blue. They had, like even the TIE Fighters were blue. So yeah, it's not the best, but in the show, we don't know if it's gray or sand blue. It's kind of both. We only saw it on Kamina. We haven't gotten a very good view of it at, at all during the show. So we will see how that turns out. But either way, I'm fine with the sand blue. And it does seem like there's enough gray on this build to make it look okay. And we also have some stickers to cover it up too. I don't know if there'll be stickers or prints, I'm guessing stickers though, with where they are placed. So yeah, it's kind of a medium sized vehicle, it's not as big as some of us would have hoped, but it's still better than the Knights of Run transport ship that we got earlier and back in summer of 2020 that was just too small and it was just too downscaled. So let's move on. This set does also come with two speeders, and I also have heard some complaints about, like, they could have put some of the budget of the speeders into the ship. And I understand that, but it is nice to have some speeders. I really like this lime green speeder for its color. We don't usually see that in Star Wars. The gray one is just pretty much a recolor of the one from the 504th Battle Pack, but I'm completely fine with that. And uh, it's good for LEGO to reuse some stuff so we can get in multiple sets. And yeah, we have a few pictures of this flying across this desert landscape. We have not seen this desert in the show yet. Maybe it will show, show up soon. So yeah, the, that hints towards a desert planet in the Bad Batch show. So, yeah, now it is time to look at the five exclusive minifigures you will be getting with this set. First up, we have Echo, the, new, the newest member of the Bad Batch, and he's looking really good. It's just the regular um, Phase 2 helmet mold, mold for him, but he doesn't have the usual visor. Uh, he looks really good. He's got that skull printing on his chest like that bad batch insignia and yeah he looks really great did not come with his wrench but there were rumors that it's he just didn't have a mechanical hand so that could be completely fine and the, they did put it in a different color so that's perfectly fine with me and i believe he does have arm printing although it's not super obvious maybe just a slight change in color but He's kind of a plainer um, clone trooper, but he still looks really good. Okay, next up we have Wrecker, and he is a really hard guy to make in Lego. A big fig would be too big, and they don't have like a in-between version between that regular Lego minifigure and the big fig, but I think they did a really good job with him. I think that Iron Man helmet was a pretty good choice, and the printing looks great. We'll see if it's adds good in person and yeah they gave him like some armor that makes him look a little bigger so I love that the pauldrons look great and yeah it looks like a really good detailed figure I'm just loving these figures I'm glad that Lego gave us some really detailed clones and these are the highlight 
of the ship. Then we have the leader, Hunter, and he just had that regular Phage 2 helmet mold, and he has a print quite similar to the style we saw with the 504 Spatter Pack, so that means that LEGO will be continuing to use those. Hopefully, they make some more Clone Wars sets to put those in, but yeah, he's looking like a really good figure with that great printing. Comes with a few shards, and so yeah, Hunter is looking really good. And then we have Tech, who's the most specialized one as far as pieces go. That's an all-new helmet mold that looks really good. It does come with a visor. We will see if this can, like, flip up and down. I don't know if it will. It's too hard to tell, but at least it's a really detailed um, helmet. Looks great. And they gave him a lighter gray for the color because he is a light, has a lighter armor color. And then finally, this is where the spoilers are coming into play. We have Evil Crosshair as he betrayed the Bad Batch in the first episode. And he's kind of plain, but that's kind of what the Imperials are like. He's got that sleek all-black uniform, kind of like um, the Death Troopers and a really cool green visor. So he's still look looking really great. We do not have any images. For his face print though, all the face prints look pretty good for the other guys. You can find those on the lego.com website where they officially released this. And then let's go to the ship itself. I've already talked about the speedos a little. And yes, I already addressed the sand blue thing. But now we are going to go into the interior. And LEGO has impressed me with this interior. There is actually room for all four of the Bad Batch members, excluding Crosshair because he switched sides. Although Omega, who will probably come out in a another set, can't fit in here. There might be some room to squeeze her in if you want to do that and fit all of them in. But pretty good from LEGO trying to make good, sp good, uh, good use of the space in here. And you get some nice printed pieces, like with a clone on them. And yeah, I don't know what those are supposed to be, but they look pretty cool. So yeah, you've got that area in the midsection, and then you also have the cockpit. I thought LEGO was going to cheap out on this one and just do the cockpit, but it looks really great. It seems like the canopy for the cockpit and the roof for the middle section can just all flip up at once so that looks really nice and now let's talk about value this one is going to cost a hundred dollars for 969 pieces which i think it's a very good price to part ratio and yeah just a, a pretty good deal and yeah it's not like the best deal of lego Star Wars, but it's definitely a fair price and yeah, this just looks like an amazing set. One more thing I want to talk about is that LEGO is finally fixing some of the box art issues at that top right corner. We don't have the Darth Vader in the Clone Wars anymore. We have the Bad Batch character, so that is really cool to see. And they also brought side box art back, so this is just a great set for LEGO Star Wars. Hopefully. This means the other sets supposed to come out in summer 2021 will be quite similar. Um, those will probably get revealed mid-June, that's just my guess. Uh, we're probably going to have to wait at least a month, which is sad. And this one does not come out till August, so we will have to wait a while for these. But yeah, this looks like a great start to the LEGO Star Wars Summer Wave. That is going to do it for this video. Please make sure to subscribe and like to help get me to 100 subscribers. And this is Commando Brooks, signing out.